Hello viewers all over the world. This is Prayer Warrior TV show. I am your host Susan Adkin, broadcasting from United States of America and in Kenya. Today, I have special people in our lives, people that we love, people that we like interacting, and we always say they are our tomorrow. They are young people, our youth. And I want to know their names. They are going to introduce themselves. And I want to start from my light heart side. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is John Wangui. And uh, I'm a human resource manager. Currently, I'm an accountant at Balaka Kwetu Limited. Thank you for holding us this session. Hello, everyone. I go by the name Faith Getonga, and I'm a former student working under Delam Company. Thank you. Hello, how are you guys? Um, I am Mary Getonga, and uh, I am a Form 4 student. I am a Form 4 liver, and uh, thank you for watching us. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Wamonye. I am a um, college river currently working in Kairos Design. I am a designer. Hello everyone. I'm Monica Getonga. I'm currently schooling at St. Bakita Gataragua Girls. Thank you for tuning. Hello viewers. My name is Damaris Mukamin Joroge. I'm born again, front office controller in Westin uh, Hotel and a new creation, born again, Holy Spirit field. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. Feel welcome to this platform. We love you guys. Yeah, and we are happy to see you, all of you. This is the youngest. And uh, I, I, I thank God for you, okay? Yes. Yeah, your breast. Amen. So today, we want to hear some of the challenges the young people go through. Sometimes it's always good to hear from the horse's mouth. And that is the reason we are here. And now starting from my left, let's hear what the, the, they are going to mention but you are signaling me. <laughs> you are not lady. Eh? So we are going to start from our right hard side. Okay. Thank you once again. And uh, let me talk about education. Education is a challenge that is affecting most of the youth in the world today. Uh, basically when it comes to issue pertaining the access of affordable education, good education, and also the finances to cater for those education uh, from the experience i can say uh, that uh, uh, with good uh, education people can do marvelous things but uh, when there is inconvenience in terms of education uh, basically it becomes a challenge so affordability of uh, education is something that needs uh, to be catered for thank you i, I want to talk about unemployment this is a major cause to the youth. So you find co there are many causes leading to unemployment. Uh, for example, we talk about technology. So technology has been advanced such a way that most of maybe in our offices, in our at 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 homes, you find that most of the work we are, that we are doing, we are using our phones, our laptops, our desks. So you find that. There's inconveniences in in employment. Um, the other cause about unemployment is about the rise in population in our country, by the way. So you find the, the rate that the country is increasing in population, the more we get more graduates, minus the minus minus the the employment that the country can cater. So you find there's inconveniences in the population rise we also have we also have corruption in that for one for a youth 
for a youth to acquire a certain job there is this word that we, you we that each and every youth use that you must have connections so you find that without connections with we have that mentality that without connection you have got no job so like you have to have someone guiding you for you to acquire a certain job thank you another cause that another challenge that youth face is uh, drug abuse and drug abuse it's caused by many there are many issues that lead to youths using drugs for example um let me use my my life in high school i had many friends who used drugs at school uh, mainly because because of peer pressure um getting pressure from their friends that drugs are good they help you pass time they can help you can use them during your leisure time they reduce stress and since they are your friends you have to believe them and just take a try they end up, they end up becoming drug addicts then th- also poor school performance which leads to stress and since maybe that person or that youth has a um, over controlling parent uh, so that to reduce that stress he or she thinks that drugs can help her or him also poverty leads to stress and one only say that the only place to go is to drugs and um, not knowing that drugs will end up bringing more poverty to their home and drugs drug abuse is caused by many other things like um yeah another challenges that youth faces is about stress maybe for example maybe a change in your life maybe a person have lose a parent yeah it can cause to stress so that is a change in your life another thing it's about maybe you have a responsibility and you are overthinking about it mm-hmm. another point it's about like you are worried about the society maybe you you are educated and you ha- you have lacked job employment opportunities and you are thinking about it i'm here to talk about peer pressure this is the this is an thing that is most common it's common to the youth and peer pressure it's the action that you do so that you can fit in in a group and be accepted by your friends so i want to to translate this using a short scenario of my life So when I was in form 1 I met friends friends of I don't know how to call them friends of no quality so they <laughs> these friends of mine they I think they don't they didn't need they didn't know what they went to do to school so entertainment we had an entertainment day which was on Saturday for the form 3 and 4 and on Sunday for the form 1 and 2 so when when we were so they used to go both both entertainment days they used to they used to be involved in both entertainment days so they used to tell me i'm so foolish I don't know and I'm so foolish. I can't go to the I can't I don't know the best movies. I should go. So for me I I I followed them and this thing following them and started going entertainment on Saturdays and Sundays. It affected my acad it affected my academics. So guys, I'm advising all those who are watching me peer pressure although it can be positive and negative and which positive can help 
the can can help you but negative peer pressure if you want to to move from it or to avoid it you can either talk to a person who is close to you and get advice thank you i know sometimes us as parents we are so busy we don't take time to listen to these young people so that we can offer an advice to them and direct them so i want you to take a responsibility as a parent listen to that child listen to that young adult because through you they are going to be advised so we want to hear still from this uh, i love the way personal experiences they they come out very clean and clearly and, uh, and i want to hear we started john said about the issue of education lack of education you no have no finances and um, i don't know what do you do you have any advice or what would you <coughs> tell somebody who is uh, maybe they are out because of lack of school fees how can they handle such matter well on this issue of pertaining education uh, from a close uh, look on it i can tell that uh, uh, how to handle that challenge of uh, education is basically uh, having a responsible appellants having government uh, support uh, having a charitable support system that can come into existence so that it can help these uh, young youths uh, from uh, an experience i can tell that uh, this is something that i i gone through whereby i took an initiative of uh, taking advantage of any, any kind of opportunity that came uh, in my way uh, basically uh, through working hard i could tell uh, that uh, taking that uh, advantage uh, really helped me although there were various challenges because now here you're dividing your time <coughs> between going to school and also working so that you can get something uh, for you uh, to support your education also issue pertaining um, a good education okay it's well and also uh, through having good grades you know it is something that can help you to get a, a good school good school indeed whereby you can go there and undertake all your courses and also uh, currently we are seeing that uh, government of kenya is uh, putting a uh, much of the emphasis uh, by coming up uh, uh, with the tvets that is technical and vocational uh, education training whereby uh, those uh, uh, students uh, who, who do not uh, meet uh, certain criteria uh, to proceed maybe to higher uh, learning they can join them so that one is something that i'm seeing uh, it can really help a good kid mm -hmm. never lacks support basically when you took that initiative when you commit yourself unto that basically you never lack that kind of support that kind of assistance thank you Yes. Because I want to expound on this point about education, because we have been, uh, uh, you know, education has become a key, in especially to the developing countries, Kenya being one uh, in developing countries, and uh, now because you are saying education, and uh, you are next, faith said that uh, you know, people are saying there are no employment graduates every day. What is your take about that? Talking about education as the pivotal focus of everything, basically in relation to employment. Okay, I can tell this one uh, that uh, we are told. Uh, okay, going back now to scriptures. Now we are told. We are told uh, about that. Uh, fear not, for I am with you. Why do you fear? First and foremost, whatever you are doing do it for the glory of god if it is a uh, uh, education if it is a learning just a learn don't say that uh, maybe i'm going to study all this and then i'll be jobless don't look that in that perspective have a positive be optimistic don't be pessimistic be optimistic look look uh, uh, availability look uh, how you can get that employment don't don't look at as if that uh, you're not going to get it be optimistic focus after completing your education yes 
uh, have that in uh, mind, have, have that knowledge to know that uh, after I finish this one, because you're told, what have you have you done? Have you done it first? Have you completed it first? When you do that, uh, basically let alone, you're going to get that kind of opportunity. And also, when, it, when, when people are talking about unemployment, I can literally on this one. Okay, there we are having this kind of mindset that uh, we must be employed for us to earn a living. But uh, we are coming, we are also realizing that uh, we can have something that we call, we can self-employ ourselves. We can start from from grass and then realize. Basically, also create opportunities. So that is the little I can tell. Thank you still. So for me, how to overcome or how to solve unemployment first through technical training in our universities in our colleges i mean once we get or once we acquire the skills it will be possible for us to to put into action what we've learned in the classrooms so through training we can be able to create our own our own jobs so that we can be the entrepreneurs who we want and or who we desire. And through that, we shall create employment in such a way that we are going to create, you will be the entrepreneur and you will have uh, employees who you will, you, you will, you will do what? You will, you will employ, yes. So through that, you see the, the number that, the higher number that was cost after, maybe after the graduation or whatever, will, will now, reduced so that way we can overcome unemployment i believe that once we once a graduate has already graduated i mean it, we have got no ready jobs for for anyone so i i prefer that or any job for you that is available i mean you can just push on it before you get whatever course you did um, whatever skill that you have before you you uh, you get that employment maybe you can focus on other other businesses as long as they they gonna give you the income um, the little money that you, you may require other than staying at home because once you are idle you know the evil minds yeah true so once you are involved in many places, that's where you get your get away, and you get to get to know with to get to know other people, and that way maybe one in one way or another you get to get to, to reach your destination. In drug abuse, we there is obvious there is a solution in every drug that one takes. So first of all, if you are into drugs too much for a long time you know it's hard for you to just come out like like that so you have you'll have to go to a counselor you'll have to go uh, in some cases it is even serious that they go to a rehab so that they can get out of it but we can also get rid of it and how you know in this case of drug abuse it's not only caused by ourselves youths also our parents some parents take part in causing their children uh, how does that come <clears throat> for example uh, there's this proverb that says that spare the child how does it go spare <laughs> spare the rod spare the child so as a parent you have to take this initiative to cancel your child as early as enough, telling her or and or him the how to make wise decisions, so that teaching him or her the effects of drugs and giving her examples. Because even the society, there are those people who there are those people who have been into drugs, and as children are growing up, they grow up seeing them. Unfortunately, some of them are even our parents. They use drugs and uh, they even use in front of their children or even send their children to get them the drugs. So the child will get interested to know this thing that my parent used. 
what if I use it? So you see, even our parents, they have that. They have to take that in, um, step. Yes, that step to teach us. Uh, personally, I've never taken drugs, but I, I, as I watch my friends around, those who take drugs, it's not good either for them because they think it is good and they they have that pleasure when they take it, yet it is affecting them slowly because you will get at some point they can't stay without using that drug. And if they don't have money, you see, they'll have to steal from their parents and they become worse and steal even from the society. And it will be a case, a criminal case, offense, and they will be taken to jail. Yes. So, what I, I will tell my colleagues, my fellow young youths like me, so, uh, you know, even if drugs are caused even by stress, you know, there are many types of stress, like divorce from our parents, that poor performance, maybe you have failed somewhere like that. So, you you know, God works in in many ways. And God says in Isaiah 60 that he's ready to hear our prayers, yet we are the ones who don't tell him. So God says he's ready to hear anything, anything that you have. Just commit it to God and God is going to give you that, that way to, to overcome that problem. Because God said that he cannot give us... Um, he cannot, yes, <laughs> he cannot give us a situation that we cannot be able to to handle. So, just commit yourself, commit what you do to God, and God is going to to God is going to help you overcome everything. You know, those are temptations, and in life, there must be temptations, and also ask God to give you that the gifts of the Holy Spirit so that you can be able to discern what is good and what is wrong. And so that before you do something, you know there's the gift of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So when you understand, you'll be able to apply your wisdom and knowledge before you do what you want to do. And when you pray to God and God gives you the, those three gifts, the Holy Spirit will help you in, uh, in your life and your life will be good here now and after. Thank you once more. Mm -hmm. What I can encourage my my fellow young youths, maybe, for example, I said about stress. Yeah, stress is caused maybe from the background, maybe you have lost your parent or maybe a parent. You can go and seek guidance from maybe from a counselor, he or she will advise you how you will stay and you will be able to move on in your life. Another thing is that you can you can join revivals in the church so that you can be praying for that thing so that you can be able to move on and to forget about what happened back then. Another thing maybe there is a, about maybe stress between your parents, they are back at home. You can talk to your parents and they can help you maybe. Uh, we have heard about stress from, uh, from Mary and uh, actually the studies show that as the most developed country, people are committing suicide as a result of stress, depression. So one thing I want to encourage you, don't just sit down. When you are having a, a, a problem, an issue, find somebody you can share with. When you're in that house or that place, find, uh, especially when you go to, to church, I always encourage be in a church so that you can share that problem with the brethren. And when you share that matter, it will be, the burden will be less. And uh, you'll see, like, you're not the only person who is going through the same thing. So thank you so much, Mary. And I'm coming back to you. We have not yet uh, exhausted that point. And now to my youngest here, Dori. Mm. So you talked about prayer pressure. Mm. 
and uh, I want you to tell us, do you feel that uh, this uh, solution to the people that has gotten themselves to peer pressure? Okay, thank you very much for giving me the second chance. Uh, for me, I would advise you first to put God first. So always pray for the things ahead you. Another thing is plan ahead. Plan ahead the things that come, that will come ahead. Okay. Another thing is that you should have you should have a secret code to talk with your parents. So try the best to tell your parents the things that are disturbing you in your lives, and so that they can know how to help you. You can also talk to a person who is if if you. If you fear your parents, you can talk to a person who is closer and who you see is much better to talk to you, to talk to him or her, and uh, you will he will he or she will advise you on this. And then another thing is that you should no, you should have an you should say no. Avoid those friends, friends of no value. Those friends have have courage to say no to the things that they the things that they involve you, the negative things they involve you. Thank you. Among us, we have uh, our counselor Damaris, and uh, she's going to highlight on every topic uh, that affecting us as young people. So. She's with us, uh, but before we get into Damaris, we want to, to hear more. Faith, employment, eh? you talked about employment. Apart from employment, do you feel there's another thing that affects young people? We have had education, um, stress, peer pressure, drugs. Is there anything that you feel affects young people? Thank you. For me, I also think about poverty. Poverty is another factor that challenges most of us. Because once you are a student, most of us, eh, in our school, you, you have some expenses that you have to, to meet and some bills, small bills that you have to, to pay. So at times you find that whenever you, maybe you request for some amount of money from at home, from your parents at times they find like this is too much you are doing it too much so at times it is not that it is not a must that they send you that money so you find the youth due to due to due to lack of money ama finances they will involve themselves in other things which are immoral of course to acquire ama to get what they want so poverty is also a major factor. The thing is, most of our parents will not provide whatever amount that you require. So, some of us, we have to opt, they opt many ways, several ways to acquire that money. So, definitely, when, when a man approaches you and maybe he got them money, it is easier to give in. And now, because now you, here you get the money you need for food, hair, I mean out, dates. So you you just give in and that's it. Of which in you, you still know that, is not th that it, it is not the best idea. But you buying it just because maybe you don't have that amount of money at that particular time. And once you, I mean, once you, you, you introduce that, into your, this, into your system, it becomes a habit. Yes, and maybe to overcome it, maybe you need a cancer or something. Uh, from the consideration of the of current events, currently, I can say there is also this issue of shifting economy. Shifting economy, which is contributing uh, uh, hugely in terms of uh, maybe laying off our workers, and these workers basically, you know, the economy of a country is made up of uh, young youths. So you come and uh, realize that uh, when there is this kind of shifting economy, youths are being laid off. So this one is bringing most of the, uh, is bringing 
the kind of the charge to to these youths another thing affecting youths is uh low self esteem which uh it comes it 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 occurs mostly to young people thinking especially it is it comes in with peer pressure so uh there is this youth that she is a, she or he is in a group of friends and according to how the friends are he or she has not reached that standard and so she thinks that she is she is not worthy she has she gains low esteem of which it is hard for someone to regain the esteem back because one thinks that she is despised and to you so when uh, they are being cancelled by their parents they have been told about their mistakes they they see mostly they, they take it negatively to think that they are being rejected and so they their esteem gets low and when you have a low esteem you get into drugs and those all those things evil things because you don't see your, yourself you don't see yourself worthy in the society and uh, you can even harm yourself because of low esteem yes i want to ask this question eh, to all of you I know we are brought up from Christian backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and maybe also you are friends. Mm -hmm. Where is the gap between the background in Christianity in you or in young people? I'm not talking about you. In young people and all those things that are affecting them. I'm very sure Mary the people that you saw friends and and getting in drugs they are parents 90% they are christian right right yeah. where do you feel where is the gap <coughs> and they have pastors also right where do you feel where is that gap what causes that gap that uh, a, a child reached that point a youth reached that point to and get himself or herself to lesbianism to drug use to peer pressure i want to hear what do you feel do our parents know or is there do you have that relationship do they have the relationship with the parents i don't know if I, i'm coming are you understanding my question well i can say that uh, the gap between uh, uh, uh the parents and the youths i can say that uh, okay the parents have a, have a lot to pray they have a lot to pray by vital one and uh, if you are if you are being brought up in a christian family there is no because okay in bible it says that uh, teach your child in the way he should be and when he or she is older he shall never depart those ways so if your parents if your parents happen to to blot you in a christian family you have you really have those morals you have you really have also those principles and also there's something that i would like to talk about the principles because uh, personally principles are, are, are what have been have have given me courage have given me a breakthrough by studying firm with them so principles and uh, parents uh, praying uh, a big lord can really help you thank you i also feel that the relationship between our parents and their kids you find that most of the times when the when the child is a grown up ama in their teenage age we are we are most of the parents since we are we are schooling you find that now the parents are are, are they neglect the responsibilities in that now that the, the kid is schooling the teacher is supposed to be responsible for the kid so you find that the the that the bond that we are supposed to be having with our parents is diminishing because the parents have already neglected their responsibilities also cases of lesbianisms 
and gay is also is also another thing because in hmm, in in the boarding schools ama in other institutions where students are they we find that due to rejection due to maybe a rejection at home there's no parental love you find that most of the children now they start looking at my finding where they feel loved and cared and they end up having other uh, other weird friendships and this maybe will cause ama will lead to that to other the unlegit relationships so for me the parent child distance relationship comes in when you know um uh, in reality it's um very few parents sit down with their children like take time sit down have a meeting with their children to discuss about the matters affecting them and how life is going so far uh, sitting down occasionally like once per month twice per month you you come to see that uh, most parents they don't have the courage to approach their children to advise them about even the most important things in life so the children will not will grow without that bond with their parents such that the advice they are getting they get it either at school or somewhere else someone is addressing or even at church and so you know when a child is told something by the parent she because you have that respect so much to your parent first you'll have to take it absorb it very fast so even if a counselor comes at school you are many so when that counselor talks very few will take in that advice that he or she has given so what i advise is that parents should create time to be their parent to be to be their children sorry to talk address about the issues affecting them so that they can know where their children are feeling challenged and they can give them ways to cope up with life so that they can they cannot find other ways which obviously will be negative divorce from the parents so for example maybe you are left with your mother and there is no that time for you for the bond between you and your mother because she is busy looking for the maybe for the money for the fees there is no that time for me i can add that point of mary by saying maybe some parents are abroad and they leave their children in their country with in the hand yes with the caretakers and they and when they come back they have no time with them they just take them for out to have fun but do not give but they do not, they doesn't give them advice so for me i can ask parents to have time with their children and try to learn more of what is disturbing them So thank you so much madam Susan for giving me this opportunity to address the issues that have been given by um the people on set the our teenagers and um I'll say they are youths that have really come up so clearly to let us know the challenges that they go through but one of the things I would like you to know whether it comes to the issue of education whether it is the issue of having you know joblessness and you feel like you need they call them the godfathers eh? so that you can secure a job meaning that you can never have a job without having somebody somewhere whether it's the issue of poverty whether it's the issue of stress whether it's the issue of um the so called peer pressure whether it's the issue of low esteem i'm summing it up because i don't have enough time but if will ever have uh, more time I will expound on it but it all matters with you knowing who you are when you know who you are you be able to deal with the issues that comes with the lack of school fees you know and you are unable to move on are we together yeah. you be able to know because 
when you are in Christ, when you know who you are in Christ Jesus, you'll be able to know that there is nowhere that is written that you will never be afflicted. There is nowhere that is written that you will never weep. There is nowhere that is written that you're not going to be in the valley of lack of school fees. So that means the, the lack of school fees or whatever we can name it is not new. There has been other people that were ahead of you who lacked school fees and they overcame because they knew who they were in Christ Jesus. You, you will know very well because you know who you are in Christ Jesus. You will know that you are in the darkest time of lack of school fees, but joy is coming in the morning. You are not going to compromise just because you are lacking school fees. You are not going to be carried away by the issues of the world just because your parents are unable to do what? To, to raise the school fees that you might want. You, I personally have gone through such an issue, and I think I was sharing with some of you, whereby I had now to, to, to work as I go to school. Not that my, my parents were not in a position to educate me, but that, that doesn't mean that I'll have to sit down because there are, no, there are no jobs, as they say. There are jobs. Are we together? There are jobs. In Christ Jesus, I'm telling you, he will give you an idea once you are in him and you will create one, let alone being employed, you become an employer. Don't just look at just being employed. God has empowered you to become an employer already. Now, because of time, I'll also um, touch on the issue of peer pressure. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians 15 and verse number 33, it says that bad company ruins what? Good morals. We know that, right? Yeah. So show me your friends, they say, and I'll tell you who you are. If your friends are chasers, if your friends are drunkards, if your dra if your friends are homosexual, if they are lesbians, they are lesbians, then you're not very far from them. If they are smokers, you are not very far from them. So show us your friends who tell you who you are. Work on on the on the friends that you are having because bad company ruins what? Good morals. Uh, the other thing I would like to talk about is about you know the issue of having of knowing somebody in a certain company that you want to work and because you know him or her you find you 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 your mind you've trained your mind that you can never get a job up until somebody will will, will, will will be there the bible says in the book of jeremiah 17 and verse number five that cast is the man who trusts on men who put his trust in men so refuse to walk as a cast man are you together? Yeah. So you are a spirit being just like God is. So are you, you can call light out of darkness. It doesn't matter whether it is the darkness of finances, whether it's the darkness of, uh, of poverty, sickness, name it all, low self-esteem. You are created just like God to function just like God. God bless you. Wow. What a wonderful counsel from Madam Damaris, thank you for the word of wisdom. Guys, have you learned? Yes. yes. Do you want to be back here again? Yes. Wow. So let me tell you, I promise you that you will be right back at this platform. With what? With more. New episodes. Uh -huh. New topics. With New topics and more information. And new more things. Uh -huh. <laughs> new episodes. Wow. Thank you so much. This is Prayer Warrior TV show. I am your host once again, Susan Adkin. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Michael and Susan Adkin Adventurers. This is where we adventure and we get to know about more about life. Praise the name of the till next time. For now.